Before the mid-60s, Americans had never heard the term SUV, but the Ford Motor Company changed all that. In 1966, the new Bronco was an instant hit when it first rolled off the assembly line. Now, a group of craftsmen in this small shop is looking to rekindle that 50-year-old spark. They're bringing new life to an original Bronco and giving it modern-day technology underneath. Their mission, make an American legend even better. Up until the mid-1960s, Americans essentially had two choices. They could buy a car or they could buy a truck. There wasn't much in between. Soldiers had fallen in love with their Jeeps during World War II, but in 1966, Ford hit a home run with the Bronco. America had fallen in love. And today, the guys at Brand New Muscle Car have rekindled that love. They've built a 1966 Bronco from the bare tub up. It looks just like a 66 fresh off the assembly line, but believe me when I tell you, despite its classic looks, there is nothing old fashioned about this new Bronco. Last time we saw the culmination of months and months of hard work. The Bronco Resto Mod was finished down to the last detail. Then finally, the owner was reunited with his totally transformed truck. Ah! What do you think? <laughs> Check it out. Oh, it is awesome. Holy cow. The best part about this job, by far, I mean, we love the cars, we love to drive the cars, see the cars, hear the cars, smell the cars, just personally, but the best thing about this whole job is the reaction of the customer. Oh, the doors open so easy. So you put the customer in it, they start it, they rev it, they drive it, they're excited. I'm a little nervous, man. <laughs> That's what we all kind of live for. And we, we're looking at their faces. If you watch us, we're looking at their faces, then we're looking at each other, and we're reacting to their reaction. It was hard today to focus between the Bronco and my family. So I remember multiple times looking over and just seeing them smiling and seeing them trying to take it in and realizing that uh, that was something that was created that we were part of, I think. It was fun to see, it really was. I feel proud. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like a good satisfaction when you see one of your cars, when you do a car and you see it in the streets, you know, or in a show. I mean, I feel happy. I like it when he sees the expressions, the face, and I start looking for the little details I put in sometimes in the car. Oh, I like, look, look at this, look at this line. Oh, look at the rear of the car, you got the whole lines and everything. Look at the cop and the door and the fender, he looks good, and then you guys start to appreciate it, any detail you put him in the car. That's the payday for us, is they're excited, they're happy, they think it's the best thing ever. And I mean, we live for that moment. We really try to hire people that love cars. And that will sound simple and, and sort of common sense-y, but there's a lot of people in the paint and body business that it's just a job. Or they used to love cars and it's become a job and they, you know, they just do it. I personally don't like people like that. I get a little tense, you know. I mean, if, if a 63 split window vet or a Ferrari or something amazing drives in, I'm looking for the employees to get excited. Wow, look at that. And if they don't, I, that gets filed in my memory bank. We're looking for people that are really into this because we're doing something so special and so unique. And, you know, we're at the point now where we've built it up where people want to come to work here. Well, we've got a great group of people here. We're all seasoned. We, we all love cars. My dad told me when I was 17, it's something you're gonna grow out of. I never did. And he said when I was about 35, you're not ever gonna grow out of this, are you? Nope, I'm not. It's a passion. It's in your blood. You're never gonna lose it. Most car guys love all cars, and they can see the great things about any car. Doesn't matter if it's a tuner, a resto mod, a stock classic, whatever it might be. You can see the work that's been put into it and appreciate it. So I think that kind of brings everybody together in the car culture. If you just do this job to be a job, it'll get old real quick because it's laborious, it's intensive. And if you've got the attitude to excel at it, the work will speak for itself. We try to build them to our standard and our standard, believe me, is a lot higher than just about anybody you'll run across. 
seeing the customer happy with their vehicle is like the best feeling you can have in the world just about, you know. It's, it's almost better than getting your own car done because even when I'm doing my own cars, it's more for the other people out there anyway. I'm gonna take it to a show to let them see it or take it to the drag strip, let them see it, whatever. You know, it's, it's all about making the other people happy. Stay tuned, Bronco fans. There's still more to come. Our Bronco Resto Mod stretches its legs and later it makes its way to the big time. Brand new muscle car classic Bronco is brought to you by Raybuck Auto Body Parts, Rust Release, Clamp Tight, and by Kicker Performance Audio. This is Tulsa. It's always been a city of innovation, and the locals at Brand New Muscle Car embody that spirit in every single project. They're always thinking of new ways to improve the cars they restore and build using the latest technologies and cutting edge products. We do a lot of cars. We don't put hitches on cars. We have yet to put a hitch on a Mustang or Camaro, although I would, it's the customer wanted it. But we also restore trucks. We do a lot of trucks, now we're building trucks. And one of the coolest little things I've seen in a long time is a product called Rhino Hitch. You know, different trailers are different heights, different trucks are different heights, and this is fully adjustable, so it's kind of the last hitch you'll ever buy. It's really a cool product, it's billet aluminum, it's cool looking, and it's just an amazing product. Rhino Hitch is a fully adjustable hitch. Uh, it goes two inches up, seven inches down. It allows you to go up and down with the trailer with it still hooked up to the truck. Your options before were maybe just a straight out hitch, maybe one that dropped two inches. I mean, there was options, but it was just a fixed position hitch. With the Rhino hitch, all you do is pull the one pin, adjust the uh, jack up and down, or if you already know your hitch and the position where it needs to be, put it in the hole that you require, put the pin back in, set it down, you're good to go. You know, nobody wants to carry around too many different hitches. So having one is the best thing that, honestly, most people are gonna have if they do a lot of towing. So the people that are buying the hitch are fleet companies as far as just a whole application of people that actually use it. But then you've got the avid boater, anybody that's got toys of different sizes, you know, travel trailers, everything. We have customers all over the world. So we're very humble that a small company out of Salt Lake City is producing these hitches that are worldwide. And we're extremely proud that this is made in the USA. Just being on the Bronco, it's gonna show people that you don't have to just have a big truck to run this hitch. It can be ran on anything. It's versatile all around. I think the Bronco is world class and the fact that we're on the Bronco, that just says everything. I mean, it goes with the styling of the Bronco. The hitch looks awesome. I mean, the two together, it's a winning combination. The brand new muscle car crew is ready to take the Bronco off-road for the first time. But before they do, just like any respectable car guys, they show it off to the neighbors. And this 66 Bronco Resto Mod is already creating lifelong memories for the Craner family. Well, my daughter just turned 16 and she's already like, hey, when do I get to drive it? Do I get to drive it? I'm like, eh, you know, we'll see. But um, these are the people I love, right? These are the people I spend time with. Um, we enjoy cars for us are just part of our blood. We love being in them, we love driving them, and so to be with them is, is awesome, to spend time with them and to have those emotions together as we see it for the first time. Um, I wouldn't want to do it with anyone else. Could be in fourth, you never know. Yeah. <laughs> Well, these, these motors have a lot of torque. Yeah, it's these crazy, cars, yeah. right? Yeah, because they put them in the trucks. That's what's in the truck now. The gas. This is the gas motor for the truck. That's what I noticed the other day when we were going. I mean, you just step on the gas and it's And it's a it's 410, there. so that's like a drag car, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah, and it's there. Yeah, the you'll, you'll want so. it for this. Right. It'll be great for this. Yeah, baby. And nice, the fuel injection, right? Just yep. instant power instead yep. of... Yep. Yeah, waiting for that carburetor oh, to kick yeah. in and dump some fuel for you. You gotta love it. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful down here. Built for this. Yeah, no joke, right? Oh, Welcome yeah. home, Bronco. Yeah. yeah. Get it out in its element. Me and my friends used to take my Bronco out when we were in high school. We'd take the top off, 
and we were just, we beat that thing to death. We would go all over the place in it. No joke, just three, four, or five of us all piled in there. Just you know. It's got a pretty good turn rate, isn't it? And then you hit those tires. Yeah. This is my favorite four-wheel drive. Yeah, I was going to figure this has to be one of your best four-wheel drives. This is my right? favorite. Well, this is my personal <laughs> favorite four-wheel drive, yeah. Uh, Ford Bronco. I like these better than even, like, the expensive, like, Defenders. And, I mean, this is my choice. Yeah. They're awesome. Yeah. And it rides nice, though, right? Yeah, it feels good. I mean, you're not worried about it, right? You're going to clear all this, so this would be the perfect hunting good. vehicle. Perfect hunting vehicle. Right? Because I never go over anything much worse than this. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. We're gonna have to lock the hubs. He locked them. Oh, we did. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Yeah, Rich. I said, Richard, lock them. I like it. This Bronco is just getting warmed up, so don't go anywhere. We still have more off-road action to come. And. The brand new muscle car crew celebrates a job well done. Brand new muscle car classic Bronco is brought to you by Silver Sport Transmissions, Tom's Bronco Parts, Exalta Coating Systems, and by Wild Horses 4x4. Learn more about the Ford Bronco story in Todd Zerker's new book. Get your copy of Ford Bronco, a history of Ford's legendary 4x4 at cartechbooks.com and at popular retailers in store and online. Bronco's place in Americana is really multifaceted. They have such a strong competition heritage. Americans love car racing and competition and the Bronco is unique in that it has a rich history with off-road racing, sand dragging, mud bogging, monster trucks, all the things that we think of that are just motherhood and apple pie when it comes to cars in America. I think one thing that captivates me about the Bronco is all the different stories that surround it. You talk to 10 or 15 or 20 different people and they all have wonderful stories about whether they grew up in Broncos or whether they bought them in recent years and modified them. You know, these vehicles, like a lot of others, older vehicles now are really a blank canvas for the owner to really customize and tweak and tune and make into their own unique vision of what these vehicles should be. And, and they have good, strong, basic bones. They're a Ford product so you can get parts for them and there's more and more parts available for them all the time. They give people a means of escape. You can get out into the boonies and have a lot of fun, get away from it all, create great memories with your family and your friends. They're just a great method of creating wonderful memories for your life and I think that's what Broncos really help you do. Look at this trail, huh? we gotta get some of this. The Bronco needs the trail. Yep, there's Richard. Making Richard nervous up there, huh? Right, yeah, look at Richard. <laughs> Richard always is like, well, this could go it. wrong. This could go wrong. Richard, stop! The first time that you actually get to drive one of these cars is an experience in itself. I mean, because you can be reasonably sure everything's on straight, shocks are set up, ride height's done right, but until it runs up and down the road, you don't know. And it's always one of those things, you know, you take off and you're a little ginger with it, you're, you're hypersensitive, you're listening, you're feeling, you run it through the gears, push on the pedal tentatively. It can be a little nerve wracking. Oh yeah. Creek with broken logs, I like it. I think I told you we kind of live up in the mountains. Yeah, 6,000 feet. Yeah, and so for us to go anywhere to do anything fun, we had to travel to Phoenix, which is like three hour drive. Right. So me and my buddy in high school, he had some cousins that lived down there. So we would travel down there, but we'd take my old Bronco. Right. Take the top off, three hours down from, so you can start in the high country, November, freezing cold, like spit and snow, no top on. You get down there and it's just, hot. Just to get down there, yeah. You get down there and it's like 85, 90 degrees, and so, you're riding with the heater sitting up on the windshield the whole time trying to stay warm. There we go. I want pictures of the Bronco back here. Oh, there's a little pond. Oh, cool. Chad, let's drop into it. Right? <laughs> yeah. Now, this is where a Bronco should be. Right. You know, not on the street. Not on the track. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. By the end of the day, I have a feeling my wife's going to be like, okay, Bronco time. <laughs> She's already started, so if she was here, because I'm already thinking, oh, we need a Bronco again. Oh, they're fun, right? Yeah, it's my favorite toy car I've ever had. Every Saturday and Sunday morning, if the weather was decent, because I didn't have a top either, I didn't even own a top. Take that sucker to the donut shop, oh, my kid would love it. <laughs> we really have enjoyed it today, though. Oh, good. It's like this has been fun for us. I'm glad. It's something we've geared up for, right? Like right. we knew what we were coming to, and we've yep. loved it. It's yep. been more than actually what we thought. Good. So, I'm glad. Super appreciative and grateful. We'll put a bow on it tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Here you. This Bronco project has been a huge success, and after months and months of hard work. It's finally time for the brand new muscle car crew to let off some steam. Okay, brand new muscle car. We do a lot of Camaros, a lot of Mustangs, a lot of other things like that. And now it's a Bronco. You know, this is the first time we've built a non-car. And so, which we're excited about, we love, and it's big, and it's a huge market, right? Half of all the cars in America sold are some kind of truck or SUV. I, I, to me, it doesn't feel that different. I know it's completely different. I know it's four wheel drive. I know it's not a car. I know it's jacked up. But I don't know, it, it's, it's like a uh, really cool uncle that came to crash the party. Now this Bronco may be finished, but we are not. Stay tuned for more brand new muscle car classic Bronco from Tulsa, Oklahoma, right after this. Brand new muscle car classic Bronco is brought to you by O'Reilly Auto Parts, Rhino Hitch, R3 Performance Products, No Limit Engineering, and by Scoggin Dickey Parts Center. Once the brand new muscle car crew was done partying, it was time to show off the Bronco at the World Center for All Things Automobile, the annual SEMA show in Las Vegas, Nevada. 
Well, the brand new muscle car Bronco looks fantastic. Uh, when I first came onto the uh, show scene yesterday, I actually saw it from a long distance away. It actually stood out. It was so beautiful. The Bronco presence at, uh, this year at SEMA is over the top. There have never been more Broncos here any other year. I can remember many years ago when we'd go two or three years at a time without seeing one single Bronco. I think it just solidifies the fact that the Bronco is really one of the hottest vehicles in the collector car market right now. And it makes me feel great that people care that much about Broncos because for so many years, they didn't. They were just throwaway, disposable trucks that got beat up and left in the backyard or in the backfield. And now it seems like every single one of them is like a gold nugget that everyone wants to grab and try and save and rebuild and, and make great again. It's definitely a feeling of accomplishment, uh, being able to produce something that they envisioned. And when you're done with it, and the owner takes it, and they're in love with it, I mean, it just makes you feel good. You put a lot of time and effort into that. It's kind of like winning the Super Bowl or winning a big game. After you're done with it, you celebrate, then you're on to the next one. It's really important to me to pass on the love of these cars. You know, you hope they don't become less popular, but I worry about it. So it's fun to try to keep that going. And I think brand new versions with modern amenities and, and, and things like that, I think that helps keep it alive. I hope it does. In my opinion, there's nothing like a Bronco. The style, what they represented, I mean, racing in the Baja 1000, I mean, just, the coolness of a Bronco, the fact that you can take a top off, take the doors off, just, it's very freeing to drive a Bronco.